Everyone ready? You got your bowl for taking notes. You got your phone. You got your sweater. <laughs> Yeah, this immersion is about getting you guys better with girls, specifically in person. Each thing we learn, you're gonna understand it, then we're gonna drill it, then you're gonna implement it in real interactions, and then we're gonna review it. So we're just gonna repeat that process. By the end of this program, you should have talked to over 100 girls. If you're new to game, that's a lot of new experience. And we're just gonna drill all the stuff that you have to do at night game. The opens, the what do you say after the open, how to vibe, how to lead a girl around, the lines to use. So it's basically in your brain, you can pull it out whenever you need it. Yeah, just like it came in at the beginning being like, this is such a weird experience to be walking into. Like it was good to have other people who are also learning these same things. Tu nombre es de Italia. Te amo. Te amo. Sí o sí. Vamos a México. Es acá. ¿Te gusta Cancún o...? Ok, solo un besito. Bueno. The coaches definitely know what they're doing and like you watch that play out and it's it's like impressive and scary. Aprendí. Aprendí mm -hmm. en uh, reggaeton y uh, Dora la Exploradora. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's the worst. It's, it's the really worst. good. I, that's, I'm sorry but this doesn't work. That's the only way I can learn is cartoons and reggaeton. So yeah, you just got to say something. Yeah. Because otherwise it's just me and then it's like. Ugh. But it's good. Good open. They Thank stopped. You. You gotta do more opens, opens, opens. The more you do, the faster you will get over this little speed bump. Yeah, I want you to persist more in the next one. So just stay 10% longer than you feel comfortable yeah, with. That. Este es el mejor bar club here. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Bling, bling. Bling, bling. Oh, como rappers in Estados Unidos. Bling, bling. Y tú eres de bling, bling. Nacimiento aquí. Wow. Tú tienes 22 años. 23, wow. That's a good number. Y, y yo? 23 too. Yes. Oh my God. Let's get married. <laughs> Matrimonio. Okay, where's my ring? You have so much bling. If they don't let you in, you are literally like the definition of bling bling. Tienes esta aplicación, se llama Instagram. Okay, I'll take your Instagram. You have Look at these photos. Look how boy. Que fashionista. Yes. That was good. Dude, that girl was so hot. Yeah, so it's not intuitive to open in a way where it's like uh, you're behind the girl. Basically, you want to come in front, give space, and then try not to touch. And you can always come in like afterward, bridge the gap, start touching more, etc. ¿Por qué tú, tú me dijiste huéleme? No. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Read the fun. Oh, okay, kids. okay. Ah. Oh, how many kids? Eh, este significa larga vida. Este significa. Hey, no you cannot Te yawn. gusta dar sexo no, no, no. oral. I want to show este you. significa oh God, que bad. te gusta perros como dogs. Yes. Perros. Y yes, con mucho gusto. 100 euros ahora mismo. Logistics are huge. Um, you need to, to have that down pat or otherwise things become 10 times harder. Did you guys, like, did you see like an opportunity for them to like still come? Like at a certain point, like when I asked So them, like, the twice, thing is like, everyone has to be like kind of on the same page yeah. and like yeah. seating and they have to... Diablas manis! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it went pretty good. Uh, the students did a lot better than I expected. We were literally just drilling like opening and vibing and leading, uh, but they ended up getting into some really long interactions. Like that one was like probably 45 minutes long. So really proud of them. And this is just like the bonus night game. So tomorrow's gonna be even better. So we'll see you then. So welcome to this guided meditation. I'm gonna show you guys what is perhaps the least painful and the most pleasant way to meditate. This is a live exercise that you're gonna do and you're gonna go very deep in a short amount of time. And you can tell how good someone is at game by how deeply he can connect. So you're gonna look at the person's eye, focus on one pupil as we go through this. 
And any time you feel like laughing, squinting, looking away, lock your eyes on the other person. Now this is where empathy comes from, from emotionally understanding the point of view of another person. This is something super powerful that you can do when you're with girls to just feel like you're with them. And there may not even be anything different that you're doing, but your ability to like go deep and like see them for who they are, women will feel like comforted and accepted and loved just by that. Deep eye contact is one of the main ways to build that comfort and that attraction as well. Eye contact is one of the only ways that you can build comfort and attraction at the same time. All right, so let's go over field reports <laughs> from last night. I like that. Just get the whole, uh, yeah, okay. Three things I did well. Um, I think I sexualized quite well. Uh, I opened up groups pretty easily. And I was able to like keep on talking on like different, um, different subjects all the time. Everybody was, was very helpful. Uh, they know what they're talking about as well. So you could take their advice, of course, uh, to heart. There should be a mixture of you connecting with the girl and also you knowing how to lead it forward, right? You should be thinking of like, what is the strategy here? How am I gonna actually be with this girl? You can start talking about, oh, the view from my place, it's so awesome, blah, blah, blah. And then you start leading toward going to your place, right? So you should ask or seed before coming here. It shouldn't be like abrupt. And also your seeding, you can start embedding into the conversation. Talk about where you want to take her, then take her where you just talked about. I think you, in that last interaction we were at, you were the only one that had like an actual connection with a girl there. Uh, yeah, so realize this game is subjective and your perception is reality. If you have the frame that you are the shit and that you're the most awesome person ever, then she will fall into that frame. So you can agree and exaggerate. Try and agree and exaggerate first. You're too old. Oh, my back. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see. grandpa. I see. Yeah. Oh, my hip. Tell me I'm short. You're short. It's a good thing I'm short. Why? Because otherwise I'd be out of your league, right? You're short. Hell yeah. <laughs> there, we there we go. So when you're speaking in a game setting, you want to speak through the person, not to them. This is one of, I'd say there's probably like three or four just huge jump hacks that you can use in game. One of them is just speaking louder because a person who's speaking louder attracts more attention and suggests that they're able to kind of, that they're higher status, they're okay with more people paying attention because they're not afraid of anyone. So one thing that I, I wanna fix with you right now is your voice is very uh, in the back of your throat and somewhat nasally. Mm -hmm. So you talk a lot like this. Hi, my name is Raymond. Think of like a, a balloon inside you and you're just pushing it down. So, ooh. And now like you're giving birth. Now I want you to really anally birth your yeah. son. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, we're getting kicked out of this place. <laughs> and I'll say, hello, my name's Raymond. Hello, my name's Raymond. Oh, Whoa. Damn, holy fuck. Right <laughs> wow. Hey, going down the street, cruising with my feet. No shirt, no teats. I'm gonna get some leche and I'm not gay, gonna go all the way, hey, and I'm super tan cause I just got back from a flight from Japan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Name is Austin and I like to rap, I don't take showers so I smell like crap, I'm still going out. Gonna go to the club, it's gonna be a flub, wubba dubba love club. One word in a row, I love cheese with my balls in your mouth sucking fucking and ducking duck okay <laughs> ducks inside my vagina with his dog okay this is getting dark <laughs> try to instagram Hi, we have to go to Gracia, so you should just grab her, grab her Instagram. I know she's a friend though, yeah. <laughs> and then we'll go. What's your name? No speak English. <laughs> no speak English. What language? Italiano. You can teach so me. So parli un po' di italiano. Oh, che cazzo fai? Oh, <laughs> Ukraine. Privet, cacdela. Sì. Parasho. Davai. I have to go, but let's let's exchange Instagrams. He's the nicest guy. He's the best guy ever. <laughs> we we gotta no, go. Mucho time. I have a uh, wife. 
<laughs> Married for 20 years already. I have a boyfriend, but it was very nice to meet you. Oh. Molto wow. bene. Wait, in, in Italian, they go two kisses? Okay. Let's see if the group will stop. Take the mammoth down. <laughs> Hi, I'm the fourth friend. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You're from England, yes? Yeah, London. Where are you from? London. Yeah, I'm only doing this, by the way, because they're doing it. I'm usually the shy one. I feel like that's me too. Oh, thank you. I moisturize like twice a day. I eat only organic food. Last Friday was the first time that I can start working out again. You don't need to go to the gym, it's fine. I got surgery. I said that all along. Did you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's just going to make me cry and then like... Please have sex with me because no, I'd have to have someone like I heard it hurts the first time, so I, I want someone like can be gentle with me. It doesn't hurt, guys. I feel like you're kind of like an aggressive lover. Oh, oh no, 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 I can't do this. Shit. You can't. No. Oh, oh, you. Bitch. You just give up. You just yeah, is this is this how is this your attitude toward life? I have small hands. My thumb is just perfect. Let's see. Oh my god. You'd have a tiny dick if you were a guy. Uh, no. Oh, no, there, there no, we go. Now no, we're seeing some just, strength. Just because your hands are small. Oh. See, see, the way that you give up yeah. in this game makes me think that you're submissive. Uh, look, you Which is not a bad thing. Out. Like, I'm not going to tell you everything. Femininity and submissiveness is a strength for women. Yeah. You can get literally anything you want with that. This just seems like you're trying to side with me to win me over and pretend that you're really nice when you give a shit and you don't. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, you you play 3D chess. This is like mm -hmm. chess, not checkers. I can, I but can just read this. There's like checkers, chess, and then you're like up here, th like 4D chess. Yeah. I think I know what you guys are doing. Are you all record, you're like chirping basically. What's chirping? What's chirping? Chirping. Yeah. Yes. It's just like a like birds. birds. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's jokes. You I've got seen it, some man. videos of that by... Uh, Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're so curious. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. You want the channel? You got the channel. You wore me down, okay? <laughs>
Man seen man with monkey. monkey. Doesn't matter. Man walks around with monkey in Barcelona. Nice. News. Brazilian monkey. This is like, <laughs> dude, I'm doing everything. You should be like that dominant alpha gorilla, just like, come with me, Jane. I take you to that place. Come with me now. <laughs> and when I'm leading, oftentimes I'll lead hand in hand, arm in arm. Or if I know the girl's falling, I'll just start walking. Actually, we are pretty tired. Uh, we're going, we're going home. home. Yeah, we're thinking about going home. It's like, yeah. but we are pretty tired. It's just. So this is a great example of just persistence when pulling. There's always going to be things that come up. It's never as smooth as you want it to be. You have to be the Jordan Belfer, bringing her back to that straight line. There's so many distractions. There's so many times where emotions can fall flat if the pull talk kind of dies out. And it's up to you to really reinvigorate the interaction, provide new energy, pump them up. Pizza, 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 leche, leche. Just yelling shit getting people excited, after party, pizza, adventure, come on. Just kind of reinforcing that, being persistent and staying with it is ultimately going to allow you to sleep with more women, it's going to allow you to date more beautiful women, and it's a crucial skill for life that you stay in it, you're the last dick standing, you don't give up where other guys would. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are the best. Loco y pizza. We are the best, so that's why you have pizza. Tequila. Like, like, no, yeah, yeah so you are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Frambuesas. Yeah, my girls are tired. Super Agua. Tenemos aguita <laughs> y Carlito. Transportación. <laughs> vamos. Okay, vamos a México. <laughs> Princesa Príncipe. Princesa Príncipe. ¿Cierto? 30 minutes, dude. It's actually probably easier to walk. Yeah, at this point, yeah. This is one of those endurance. This is persistence. Yeah. Dude, have you seen a group of people worse at their job in your life? In your life, dude. Your job is transportation. You can't do your job. And during this pull, we were walking to our place, but we were trying to find taxis along the way. All the taxis we saw were occupied, and the ones that weren't, the taxi drivers were just sitting in them on break. And we were like, please, can you drive us to our house? None of them wanted to drive. So eventually, with persistence, God smiled upon us, and he gave us two taxis. So if you guys go with Carl, I can go with these two in another taxi. There's another taxi. Carl, lead like a man. Mi culo duele. Mi garganta duele, no sé. Thank the Lord, dude. Jesus Christ. That took a while, man. Yeah. So we have a Brazilian monkey here. <laughs> Would you like some fruit and some nuts? Yeah! <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, last night was good. You guys pulled, which is good. Um, you saw how like tricky it can get different points. And they're in and they're out. And if you just kind of stand around going, I, I don't know, I don't know where I am. I don't know where we're going. I just, yeah, what, you, uh, you, uh, mm, you, I don't know. You, it, it's like, turns the girls off massively. You just have to like, literally be a gorilla. Be like, we're going here. I know everything. I'm dumb gorilla man, follow me. So my students during this program were all completely new to game. I was really impressed by them when each night we went out, they pushed their boundaries each time and it was crazy how much they accomplished. The first night we were drilling opens and we were drilling transitions and some basic conversation stuff. And they had a 45 minute interaction with these beautiful girls. And that was a pullable interaction. So I made sure on the second night to go even deeper. So we went into the pulling chunk of game, which involves seating, pulling, objection handling, leading, all that kind of stuff. And on the second night, their second night out ever, they ended up 
pulling three stunning girls. When I was learning game on my own, those experiences took me over seven months to get. probably pretty warmed up you would do this for many days so I do want you guys to approach me first okay. so I'm just gonna walk and then we'll do one person at a time hi there I'm sorry I just saw you I thought you looked cool. that was good yeah. a little bit more in front and then we're good hey there excuse me uh, I just saw you walking by that I was perfect you... yeah yeah good. <laughs> Me gusta tu bicicleta. Ah, what, what's this then? What's this called? Motorcycle. Yes, but in Spanish? Motocicleta. Motocicleta. Uh, Me gusta tu motocicleta. Everybody says moto. Yes. You guys seem like you just got from like some traveling. What's going on? You're from Sweden. You're going back. Oh, you guys are looking really good. You're looking really good. It's nice. Just do it for the practice. <laughs> It'd be easier than uh, the other ones too. <laughs> Pop it to practice the stop. Same thing applies to her. Hey, excuse me. I was just walking and I saw you and I thought you were cute and I wanted to say hi. What's your name? To actually go in person and see it happen in person and have someone put you in that situation and, you know, for uh, that social pressure to go out and actually be in that situation, uh, that is just something that, that is necessary, honestly. Walking by with a friend, and I saw you in your dress, and I saw I thought I had to come and say hi to you. You guys are shopping? Okay, where are you from? Turkey. Oh, I've been to hey, Turkey. So, sorry, I'm late. The bus was it was delayed by like three minutes, but yeah. Hi, Austin. I am from Turkey. Turkey. Oh, okay. And you're from sweatshirts. Uh, I'm from Florida. Do you know Florida? You know Miami? Yes. Have you been? From the movie. No. Like Let's go. We got. Yeah, kind of. We have. We can make a flight. Don't do you have? Like do you have this app called uh, Instagram? Alphabet in Turkey, or is it like the Okay, same? we should like be A, best friends B, on Instagram. Best friends. Okay. I'll, I'll visit you when I'm in Turkey. Yeah, you do. When I'm in Turkey, we'll get married. We'll have 14 children. Okay, and I will be your sugar mommy. Yeah, and wife. One of my wives. One of your wives. Okay. Yeah. So you've been here for How many husbands would you want? We came here three. Three? three? Yes. That's reasonable. Yes. Okay, three husbands, three wives. Very fair. Shake. What do you look like without the glasses? Yeah, really. I'm trying to. Imagine I just leave. <laughs> You're like this. No, I lost one of my husbands. I only have two husbands. To because of my eyes. Yes. Like you look very Asian. You look Korean, Japanese. That was good. What does your tattoo say? I'm confused. It's from the Les Miserables. This is uh, in French. Yes. So that's sun. Oh man, nights. I don't know. Yeah. I give up. Who cares? Who cares? You're only one of my three wives. It doesn't even matter. So, <laughs> do you have another one, right? Yes, I have six tattoos. It's my grandfather's. Two, two I can see, and then four I'll see later. The, they're hidden. No, no, no. They're you secret. can see them now. Oh, okay. So express yourself in English all the time. Yeah. Okay, like, I can already see Well, you know what they say. The best way to learn a language is with private one-on-one -on -one lessons with a native speaker. And I'm a native speaker. Okay, that means you yes. talk, like, continue talk every day. Yes. Okay. I've also heard that <laughs> the second best way is pillow talk <laughs> with, a, with a boyfriend, girlfriend. You're just always talking together and you, you learn. Okay, I have a new plan. I have a new plan. This is my plan. Tonight, we have fun. And we go out after dinner because we're going to eat with our friends. You eat with your friends. And then we'll get all beautiful. 
I'll put on a beautiful dress for you. Uh, for night, okay. Yeah, and then we go out and we enjoy Barcelona because it's our last night. Talk on Easter. Okay. Te amo. Te amo mucho. I know. I like that plan though. That sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Boom. Okay. Have a good one. All right, Lubo, 30 second field report, go. How'd you meet her, what's going on? After dinner, we were going home. After full day of you guys, like, pitching in a day game, like, fuck, I have a dad in your post, so. I see this cute girl, with block eyes, boom, running. She was into it from the beginning. We go for some dancing, some Brazilian dancing, then we go take some beers. She takes me around Barcelona, like, hey, you. Anyway, we're sitting, leading, we take this. <laughs> boom, boom. Nice, dude. That's what's up. Boom, boom, boom. Diablo, papi. You guys ready for the secret phrase? Do you want to know what it is? This will literally revolutionize your Instagram. <laughs> or just will revolutionize my Instagram. <laughs> hey, can you take a photo of me? Literally that, okay? So anytime you're doing something cool, anytime you're out with friends, Hey, can you get a quick photo of us? Just a group photo. Number one, it's gonna give you content, but also you can send to other people in the group. You can send to the girl, like what you did. And everything that you post should communicate that you're a winner. She's making the right decision by choosing you. Uh, one bad photo can ruin the whole thing. Just as you're looking for yeses from girls, girls are looking for no's. How can I disqualify this man? Give me a reason. That's how you make a good Instagram, do you guys want to know how to make a great Instagram? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know it's rude to interrupt. No, no the walking phone, backwards. I saw you, you were very cute, and I had to meet you and say hi. Thank you. What's your name? But I'm a bit of a rush. You're in a so oh yeah, where are you headed? To the Sonar Festival. To a festival? Yeah. What is it? Like music festival? Yeah. Awesome. What's uh you live around here? Yeah. It's uh Wait, where you headed this way? Yeah. Oh, for me. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's just you need to have these like lines available. There, there is. You, I, there's obviously a lot of nerves. You're you're mirroring the girl. You're saying exactly what she's saying back to you because it feels safe, and because you're trying to keep your head on, above water because it's intense. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. And then uh, what else? You know what it is? I feel like game is like emotional surfing, mm. right? It's like you're like riding the wave. Like the hotter the girl is, it's like a bigger wave and you're just like riding the thing. You're trying to like stay in it yeah. without being overwhelmed. It's kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, you just, and for the, for the leading, like, hey, I'll walk with you for two minutes, but then I have to go. Like these the lines should be like embedded in your head. I would write that line down if you don't have it and then practice it as well. Because these are very common situations you find yourself in. So I guess you guys are also seeing the pros and cons of each type of game. Like night game, they're out to have fun. They're not doing anything. You can meet them, but there's more competition. There's more chaos, blah, blah, blah. Uh, also it tends to be toward the younger side with, with girls. And then yeah, daytime, they have not as many distractions. So if you do find a girl that's like our girls, the Turkish girls that are just not doing anything for an hour, it's really easy to just pick up a very uh, calm conversation. And then every other guy out there is just taking selfies and uh, you know playing music and wearing sandals with socks. So it's not difficult. But you will find more girls that have boyfriends and more girls that are in a rush. What percentage of guys were actively approaching and pushing into their boundaries and yeah, pretty much us. <laughs> you know, some will go out and then they'll be like, talk to one or two girls a night. You guys did like maybe 10 or so in the first night we went out, like those two hours or something. Yeah, realize that few guys have what you're describing. I'd recommend going out four times a week. Uh, and that includes day game, night game, social circle, dates, 
and it doesn't have to be for very long. Frequency is more important than duration. So if you go out, let's say one hour, two hours on a Friday night, you go out day gaming one time a week, and then let's say you got two dates a week. That's enough. I know everyone has a busy life. Welcome to your second full-time job. It's called your dating life. There were lots of things that I knew I was capable of, but just couldn't quite get myself there. And so it felt really good to break through that. You get numbers and people that I'm going to meet up with. And that's really cool to be able to make that happen for yourself. And everyone has a great experience. I honestly think like, like this should be in schools. <laughs> It's, it's, it's amazing. If you are uh, on the fence, like, don't be. Like. <laughs> just take the leap, like just, it sounds corny, but it's like, take the fucking leap and allow yourself to be coached. If you're a person like me who needs to experience something in person before you could take action, then this is exactly the program for you.